in Weebcon was a train wreck. According to VTuber Vigroxia, the Sun Eater. Uwu Land was a flat out mismanaged absolute shit show. And uh, one comment by Twin Tails so far, though there has been a lot of talk about this convention, specifically around Uwu Land and its mismanagement. So we just had Weebcom as a non-American, I wasn't super aware of it other than the intense marketing of Uwu Land by Uwu Market. Before we jump into the information, the tea, the situation, whatever you want to call it, I'll give you a little backstory for anyone who doesn't know what for anyone that knows what Weebcon, Uru Land, Uru Market is, uh, skip to time code right here. So, Weebcon is an anime convention taking place on the 29th to the 31st of March in Gaylord Texan Resort and Convention Center. Uru Market is a merch distributor storefront for primarily VTubers. They seem to have other people in there, but it's mainly VTubers. The only main thing I have heard about Uwu Market, other than them contacting me to sell merch through them, which I have not, haven't replied, is the controversy about their long shipping times that I've heard from people, including in this video from the VTubers themselves, around like six weeks plus to receive items. And Uwu Land was their section in WeebCon where a lot of VTuber signings and performances were held. So that was their section they were responsible for. Back to the story, done. Before we get into the statements, Uwu Land portion of the con seemed to have mismanagement and some petty actions, especially towards Victoria, at least whose statement I could find so far. Twin Tail mainly goes into the mismanagement around their booth. Instead of giving you an abbreviation as I usually do, I will go into straight onto her live stream because Victoria, the Sun Eater, actually discuss this on her live stream and not on Twitter. So we'll have a look at that. On Twitch is more of a soft cutting of the cords as it seems like Victoria doesn't really want to create drama with this. They just want to voice their complaints and Victoria is leaving Uwu Market over what happened. <laughs> He's like, he he, because he knows. He knows this is about to get good. I got to, you know, I was very, very lucky and I got to actually do a panel for WeebCon proper with Nim and Tricky. So we hosted a panel. It was a little bit, I will say though, it was a little bit scuffed as in like, there was WeebCon staff struggling to keep up with things and things got confused along the way of when it was gonna be, where it was gonna be. But luckily it that kind of all got worked out with a lot of help from MSM. <laughs> As you can see here, the major problem seems to be with Uru Land, not specifically Webcon, even though it had some management problems and Vex's own management had to step in, which ideally shouldn't actually happen other than to kink out little things for her. They should not be running events to these anime conventions, but as any um, anime convention goer knows, that somehow, even though these should all be run by event management people, somehow it is always scuffed. Uru Land was a flat out mismanaged absolute shit show. I'm not going to name names of people out of respect and their own safety. But I swear to god you guys, it was fucking awful. And I have never been so disrespected as a creator in my fucking entire life. So we have Vex going into at the beginning here about the disrespect on here. So I'll give the bullet points of the next parts, the evidence and some of her statements on this. So she goes on to say that they first asked her to do a merch drop two weeks prior to the start of this event, which she says no to because it's not enough time. Merch drops are just usually a couple items and they drop them all at once. They were trying to coincide it with the event. You usually need your art, you need to advertise it etc. It, it's a lot of work and they say it's okay that she says no because there's not enough time. So she goes to Weebcon and to do her Uru Land part, a fan signing slash kind of meetup thing. There's tables just like a normal signing at an anime convention and she's near Cinder. Uh, as a clip I'm about to start show, she goes into detail on how scuffed the setup was to this event. It was supposed to be up on Friday and it wasn't even fully up and her own husband and management had to help set up this event. The security for this event because there was no security and as you know with anyone with any 
any kind of following, that having no security at events can be very dangerous, and at the very least a bit frightening. And Ubu Lin did not actually provide any security. Here's the funny part, Zolan had asked them beforehand, are you going to have security? And uh, an individual from Ubu Market said, yeah, we'll have three security people. And Zolan said, will you be checking ID for 18 plus creators? So this part goes into that Uru Land the year prior had similar complaints of not enough security, etc. or not fulfilling on promises. And Shin Chi uh, Vex is an 18 plus creator, she wanted to make sure that there would be no minors in her line. Next to every line was mushed together, so every single VTuber creator was mushed into the same way. They were not even checking if there was any underage people coming up for not safe for work content. Sounds a little bit illegal scene, um, ex at least in Australia, they're a bit strict on selling 18 plus content to minors. Public safety aside for anyone, security at events isn't just for creators. It is also for trampolines, fire safety, and a lot of other things. Continuing on with this, she is next to Cinder. Cinder has posters to sign to give to fans. So Vex obviously asks, seeing how cute they are, and like, oh, she would like that for her fans too. Do you have posters for me? Seeing you have posters for everyone else. And they're like, no, I don't have posters for you because you didn't do the merch drop that they asked two weeks prior to do. And she rightly so thinks it's a bit petty, but she goes, all right, I guess it makes sense if the posters are only to go with the merch job. Let it slide, let it slide. Do you have any posters for me to sign for people for the meet and greets? Here's where it gets petty. They tell me, well, you didn't do a drop with us, so we didn't bring any posters for you. <laughs> Okay, fine, fine, sure, fine. No guys, here's where it gets good. Here's where it gets good. Papa took a video of this. So when we're going into this, Papa is her husband there and uh, used to manage her, but not as much anymore now that she's moved to new management. Took a video of what actually happened to the poster. I'm gonna show this video and it's absolutely hilarious how petty this is. I'm just gonna play this for you guys. They Remember they told me they don't have posters for me to sign at this point, okay? They don't have posters apparently. This is what I do with my Vex story merchandise as well. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> Get fucked. Let's go. <laughs> So yeah, they did have posters for her, they were just using it as poorly written exits and entry signs around the event. Out of pettiness, I'm assuming? I, I don't understand their mind around this, why would they do that? Next to, a professional event doesn't have exit signs, it's just written in a bit of pen, that doesn't seem safe. That doesn't seem safe at all, okay? Like, I'm not being pedantic, but I think you should at least have your safety measures worked out like in a convention, like we don't want anyone to die. So rightly so, she's a bit pissed there. She's a little pissed, I would be a bit pissed. And next up, I'm assuming the fans would be pissed because that fe feels very wasteful. So we have sec no security, no restrictions to under 18s, for seeing 18 plus VTubers, no pre-set up. The event is running late on every side, so from multiple sources on this, nothing was set up on time. Friday was pretty much a wash in Uwu land. Uwu land was not functioning. A lot of meeting greets were pushed back um, from Twin Tail's say side. Her Friday and mostly Saturday events were cancelled because they never set up her booth. She made a out of the blue meetup on Saturday to make up for it because she felt bad. But her actual virtual booth was not up until the last day when it was promised for all three days, which is horribly behind schedule. I do like VTuber merch and stuff. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, and so they were running like a whole floor of different booths and I was supposed to have one there that was called the VTuber Experience with Twin Tails. <laughs> so they were pretty understaffed, they didn't have everything set up on the first day. Uh, my booth, the VTuber Experience booth, was only set up on Saturday evening, so I only got to run it pretty much for the Sunday. <laughs> So for like the first two days, people were asking me on like Twitter and stuff like, oh, where can I find you? Are you doing a signing? And I was like, 
I was supposed to be at the VTuber Experience booth, but I can't tell them to see me there because it's uh, the VTuber Experience booth doesn't really exist right now. <laughs> yeah, and Twin Tails even backing up the at least mismanagement of this, that a lot of things weren't even set up until the second day of the convention or even properly until the last day, which is pretty terrible scene. Um, from what I looked, I'll put up the image out there that the VIP experience for Uru Land was $100. I don't know if this gives you access to WeebCon or you have to buy this on top of your WeebCon ticket, but that's pretty ridiculous when you don't have half of your LAN set up. Like other creators and family members trying to keep creators safe. So here we have going into that how Vex's mods and her husband had to help run this event slash signing and make sure that people came from a safe distance from the other attendees, including Cinder's brother and sister-in-law had to help too, which is crazy. The next part that she goes into that I'll just sum up here is that there's supposed to be a creator area, obviously to take breaks, etc. because they're going to be there all day. There was not even chairs on the first day. On the second day, there was chairs. There was no water, no refreshments, no nothing. I guess hydration is for fools, I suppose. It seems very poorly run. I wanted to actually get images of this event. I have been looking other than some videos of the Cinder concert, concert and like a really bad TikTok of it and one of the artist only i cannot actually find any images of uwu land like i can't actually find anything showing what this convention actually turned out like so they actually did something very very horrible to him that i actually cannot talk about because of legal issues involved in that so the last pass vex goes into that i'm 90 percent sure zolon is her husband i'm not a bona fide vex fan but I put two and two together here, as they mentioned them throughout this video. Um, either way, even if they were just their management, it doesn't actually change this. That apparently they were like highly disrespected. And for legal reasons, they can't actually divulge what Uluwan said or did to them. Either way, it sounds bad. <laughs> and it just adds on top of the disrespect here. Some dot points here of what Uluwan did wrong. Didn't provide security, didn't keep miners out of 18 plus zones, didn't keep lines in order, did not set up on time, almost two days behind, did not set up booth on time, did not set up VIP on time, did not provide chairs, refreshments, water for any of their guests, not providing items out of pettiness, you disrespecting family members as it's mentioned in here. I don't know if I've mentioned it so far that the mods and family members that were trying to help their significant others or their VTubers were actually getting in trouble for trying to help them. The VIP zones were not separated correctly. There was just a general amount of mismanagement and chaos. No, and it wasn't a safe environment for these creators. And it's very crazy to me after all this time that convention still gives such a subpar show. And honestly, VTubers or any kind of creators or any kind of guest stars shouldn't have to go through this when they go to a convention. It should be a safe place. They should expect a certain level of safety and care. You know, be hydrated, not get mobbed. And the same with the fans going there. They should not be trampled. It should be safe. I can't speak to the other creators or the people's goings like experience here. All I can go to is what's been shared so far. If anyone has any Uru Land experience or was there or other creators, I would love to hear their side of it of what actually happened at this event. And if you've been on the anime convention scene, you know this happens from time to time. Cat Dashcon and many others, like uh, even Australia had a, a terrible anime convention recently with similar mismanagement. Just because it's in a semi-niche doesn't mean that there isn't standards of care. And I don't think these conventions or companies should get away with it. Google Market already has some disgruntledness with their actual merch side, but the complete and other, like dr dropping the ball with the, their convention side is like unacceptable. And I find it very strange that it's not really getting talked about. Like, I want to know what Uru Market actually has to say with the mismanagement of their event. Saying this seems to be the second year they have dropped the ball. Even more, that these problems were brought to their attention last year and they seem to have not actually fixed anything. And at the moment, it seems like there is a lot of, like, merch or talent agencies taking advantage of viewers and streamers in these zones, thinking they can make a quick buck on with inferior products. 
be it with merch or events. What do you guys think? Do you think Vex is in the right for putting this out there? I think she did it in a very soft way, in a very mature way, even though she was rightfully pissed. What do you think of this? Are you surprised? Let me know in the comments below. Leave a like or subscribe. Sorry if I mispronounced any words. It's 7am in Australia and I'm trying to get you the news. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.